fine setup here for the CTs. They have a lot of mid-control, so they're fast rotates over. Two players inside the B site will be a little bit later, but now the cross smokes will come out, and it'll be on Jacob to try to get some damage in and leave if he can. There it is, double smoke, making sure they leave no gap for 100 Thieves to try and exploit, but that is a long-range shot from Jacob. Now he's going to start feeling more pressure. These T's have moved forward. They've crossed over towards the actual ramp, and they're starting to bring it back. One kill out from Nexa. Still, the USPs have prevailed. As JKS falls off his boost, and we sit 4v3. Bomb planted. Nexa and Amanek with a killer crossfire, but it's that cat play that almost got the job done. So they'll have to wait that one out. Clearly G2 looking to just split this B site at the 30 second mark, but a deed from JKS and a follow-up kill makes things complicated. Doesn't put G2 out of the round. But look at this, the bomb's actually going all the way back to mid. Somebody's at top mid, that's Jacob, wow. and he can't get the kill. Kenny, what a trade. Yep. From the lower, second man out, had to react. But here comes Azza. He's got that scout and a dodge shot. Here's a second chance, and he's not going to land that one either. So now it's the creeping crawl, and it all falls onto just the bomb carrier. He doesn't realize Aminex moved over, so the plant goes down. <gasps> what? Liaz comes in from behind and just robbed away the round. That's it. No plant goes down. Next is left alone as the last man on the pistol as well. Can't ring the round, and now 100 Thieves pull it back. He's getting back around ramp. He needs clean kills, and he takes down Kenny. Ooh. Follows up onto Hunter. Wow. Three frags from him as he comes back up of spawn. Again, there's still a chance for G2 to finish this half with a lead, if it's only one. Oh, ooh. Ooh, gonna dodge some shots. Oh, and come back he sticks for around seconds. the audacity. Damn, there goes Amanek, but Jax, he's picked up a crisp headshot. You have to wonder, JKS giving them a bit of an opening, but here they go, corralled towards the A site. They may just commit, and that's going to play right into the hand of Liaz. He could give chase to this. Look at them try and dodge. He 20 seconds. He knows. He knows he can cut them off. Dodges the <gasps> flash. the jump. Oh, and he's gotten the bomb down. 18 seconds remain. Kenny, he has everything to do now. He's desperate to get to that bomb site, and he will be given the chance to just oh. slightly. You know, Kenny, he might try to end this round oh. early. Yeah, he's going up through the window. He just has Bomb's to hide. not planted just yet. Liaz just wants to stay alive, and come in. Kenny will commit. Oh. Bomb goes down in time. He's got the op. All he needs, that one shot. Kenny, he goes oh. high. Up top. As that smoke fades, Gratisfaction's going to be in a tough spot. Timing could be his. Mm, denied. He does get the info. There's a lot of bodies starting to pile up on this catwalk, and they're going to go off of this. G2 able to find themselves. Ooh, a double entry, but nicely done. JKS, he is gunning for a third. The flank is hot from Azer, and he goes off of the flash. He's denied by Amanek, who started this kill count. <gasps> Here comes Liaz up from CT spawn. An ambitious jump. Liaz is just honing in for the headshot. It's really going to come down to who makes the move. You've got to be on point. And Nexa's in a position where he is so committed, but he tries Ooh. to get ambitious How? and gets shut down. How does he do that? Oh, they move up. They're looking to take control of J Hall. Three CTs pushing out. Instant headshot back and forth, actually. But it looks like it's the CT. Oh my god, JKS! The four headshots right off the bat. Are you kidding me? This is M4 versus Krieg, but. Ooh, element of surprise, no problem. Here comes Liaz with some kind of an answer. Now, he could molly off Kenny from getting into the bomb site, just try to get that bomb down if needed, but he's left it behind. So he's looking to play kills at the 30-second mark, and he'll do that. Cuts it down to the 1v2. That guy's not going to show his face, though. He's a sneaky mouse. He's going to allow for this plant to come down. It's a two-on-one, doesn't want to blow it. But Jax shows himself. Ooh, dangerous. He's going to tap that bomb. 10 seconds left over. Now that flank's very much activating. <gasps> Another kill sight. from Liaz. He's just got to assume. From a 1v3 to the 1v1, it's going to take a headshot. Nexa already up around the ramp. He's seen him, and all he has to do is connect. But it's Nexa again and again. Well, I mean, that might be the strat. CT's here at mid Ooh, for one of the stack. first times, yeah. As is caught hopping, he is going to get that bomb down. And once these smoke fades, should be easy pickings. That is a dangerous game, Jacob. Yeah, for real. But uh, he's tucked in. Tight rope walker over here. Ooh, oh. that's a big kill. Wait a second. Pop flash. They're close. 
Meant to keep anybody at bay, but Nexa not scared. He's going to move this one forward. Little bomb tap. That's going to reveal a position that's pretty easy to deal with. I mean, Jacob has nowhere to go, so... Oh, JKS has to clutch this 1v4. He doesn't get the man off bomb, and they've managed it. Yeah, get loud. That's insane. They were able to get close enough that they can pull off the defuse. Ten oh. seconds to go, but it turns green. In our pregame interviews, every player predicted their opening match going 2-0. And that may be the case. Here we go. Hunter's got that opening kill. He's going to hear walking on the rafters. Nexa. They're looking for a boost, but Nexa's smoke. I mean, oh. yeah, could he get that in for me? They're making too much noise. He's going to push out. Yeah. Ooh, but trying to take down the bottom of the totem. Doesn't line it up right away. The spray just good for one. Aminek's going to have a gun advantage over Liaz, just working with that MAC-10. And here's the big flank from Jax. He could be the nail in the coffin. He's going to decide to pull this off. Clears Jacob, who's not watching flank. Down now. Two quick kills. And now the bomb has been planted, so the clock is now going to start running on Evil Geniuses. They need to get in here. And they need to defuse this bomb. And the pit just waits down there and look he's just crouching he's gonna get all three of them that is some pretty good play still 20 seconds they do need a bomb plant here in a two on two so a little bit sketchy throwing over the awp to isa and looking for a way to get that kill long range the flick doesn't connect but mantu's there with a headshot now 10 seconds left and he's going for the fight up in the open breeze will win it i can't believe it i and suck he's not affected still firing that clock he's gonna get a kill and we'll follow up with another headshot they still bring it back into a two on one and breeze is now inside of the bomb site and they're coming for him alexi he's still got that kid in hand he could still actually turn this around the early defender on B flanking out right and Breeze. He's now trying burst fire mixed in. He gets a headshot at the end and will win the round for EG. What a close round. This is going to be the make or break shot. You need to kill the man in the library and he doesn't get it. And so now it's on Terry. Peeks out, finds the one on short. HE on him as well. Mantu trying with the wall bangs, playing with it. There's Terry stepping up big. 2v1 just like that. It's all on Alexi B and he's out of time. Yeah, he's just, he's just fighting for the weapons now, isn't he? Oh man. This is uh, quite the round once again. The bomb on the roof with 35 seconds left is definitely not a good look. I don't know how you recover this. Cirque is going to pick that. up the one. Yes, I mean, it's something. It could have maybe helped out, but Breeze is down here. 25 seconds. They go, oh my god, he gets a headshot. Oh, they gave it to him. He needed to run around. He would have had almost no time. I can't believe it. Turning up at the bomb site, and they just can't hold him back. Breeze will get the kill on NBK. Pretty good long range shot with a Glock person again, just driving by his Tarek. And now it's all on Val. The P215 hand, he's going to close the door and try to play a little game, but they're double up on him. He gets two big kills. He closes it back up again and runs away. Tarek wants to catch him, but he can't. And he's back for more. Val that will take him down. A quad kill for OG to win the round. 2v2 and running out of time here for Evil Geniuses. Valder now left. He's very low on health, but they don't have any grenades, so he could just buy a little bit more time, and I don't think they'll be able to do it. Breeze, how does he find him? Valder playing for time. He's doing this so cleverly, just dodging the bullets. He knows he has to come for him, and now he goes for the long-range fight, but even then, the time would have done it. That's Valder again saving the day over time would absolutely be devastating. A little bit of a line up there as Valder will get the one kill. NBK, and now on the top! There's Stanislaw with the spray down, and he immediately makes the jump. He does not have a kit, so could still be a little bit tricky, but from the sound of it, he's going to be making it. So 15, 11, EG with a very, very good retake. I, was, I mean, that was close. And then Evil Genius just decide to remember how to play CS again. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make it entertaining for us, aren't they? Ooh, Stanislaw. See, there was that vent dive that we were talking mm -hmm. about. The exact same setup this time. Stanislaw is ready for it. He's going to be falling back. He's right into three players, and they knock him out. That's a... Quick trade here. Four on four now. Tarek, the same smoke again. OG going back to it one more time. And Tarek, he's tired of this bomb pump, but he can't see anything about it. You see him just trying to dodge the bullets underneath. So it gets a kill. I can't believe he's still alive. He falls back down, but the door is blocked. And he needed that kill immediately. He's in a lot of trouble. Backup is trying to get here. MEK, how does he get that flick? We need to see that replay. Cirque low, breeze low. It's a one on one now with the bomb down. And Isa just trying to find the right moment. There's Cirque smoking it off, and he's going to run back to it. He does have a kit. He's going to sit on that bomb. Oh, he's waiting about it. There's the Molotov on top, and that might be it. That might be what gives OG the final round. 16 to 14 with the grenade. 
Need that bomb plant pretty quickly. Deep Molotov in towards Gandalf to force out Mantu right into the waiting arms of Breeze. Good teamwork. Tarek with the kill on Iza. Now it's NBK trying to get close with the MP9. He's going to pick up the one kill. Can he catch him at a range? He just goes straight for it. He has the kit. There's nothing to stop him. He's going to go all the way through with the defuse. And that is ice cold from NBK. This is such good uh, defense from the EG side. They should be winning this round. Ethan goes down. That's a nice running headshot from Mantu. And now Tarek needs some backup, but it's not quite coming. Stanislaw goes down as well. Nice flick from Sirk. And that leaves Alexi B in the corner. That AWP up against him. He's got that Galil and just trying to shoot through the smoke. He's going to go down. Sirk will drop him. We will get a second boost up. So the focus is on Catwalk at this point. Get bodies up on Catwalk. That's oh. going to be the point of contention. Mantu's holding. He needs backup close. There's the first shot coming through. He didn't spot another body, though, so they don't know if this is going to be a follow-up. Nicely timed incendiary. But this is such a hard shutdown. There are so many people defending this Catwalk, but now they're a little bit out in the open. They fall back too quick. And Mantu with another kill. It's really important, and they're low on health. They're getting shut down. Iza looking for the kill, and he'll get Breeze as well. 25 seconds, and Sirk... I don't even think they could be done. He has to run all the way up there, get the bomb, not get killed along the way. He misses a chance. And again, 18 seconds on the clock. He can make not even a single mistake right now. 14 seconds. He can't stop. He has to keep running. Picks up the bomb and now he's back on track. Nine seconds on the clock and he does put it down immediately. But they're coming in from long as well. Isa's going to be there. So it goes down and it's win in overtime for OG.